every day you see a hawk is a great day. The problem is, they're usually flying so high up you just see a silhouette. Or they're flying so fast it's just a blur. And you don't know, was that a Cooper's hawk? Was that, was that a sharp-shinned hawk? Was that maybe a Goss hawk? In this video, I'm gonna break down all my tips and my tricks that have helped turn me into a hawk ID master. I can't wait for you to watch it so that you too can ID all the hawks around you. Hawks, they are two different types of hawks in North America. We've got Accipiter and Buteo. <laughs> All right, what do those mean? Uh, they are fancy scientific words. Uh, let me break it down for you. There's small hawks and large hawks. <laughs> There's ones with long skinny tails and short rounded fat tails. That's the difference. So the long skinny are the accipiters or serpent tailed, I call them. So. Accipiter sounds like serpent. They've got the long snake tail. And that's the sharp shinned hawk, the Cooper's hawk, and the Goss hawk. And then the Buteo. So I call them the big butts. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. Big butts being the red tailed, the Swainsons, all the other hawks, the big hawks, the ones we know. All right, I'm going to go through all of those, but that's just. So you know, the two families, Accipiter and Buteo, the hawks fit into those two families. I'm not talking about ospreys, kites, or vultures in this class, just the Accipiters and the Buteos. Big butts versus serpents, here we go. Uh, we're gonna start with the Accipiters, and that's the sharp and the Coopers, which are what most people confuse. Uh, hard to tell those apart. I'll give you the tricks there. And then the goshawk. Uh, used to be called the northern goshawk, but just in 2023, uh, their name was changed to the American goshawk. And they did that because they split uh, European version and the American version. They used to be lumped together, now they're split. So they needed a new name. And so they chose the American goshawk. So here's starting with the Accipiters, the long skinny tails, uh, starting at the smallest is the sharp shinned. It's a small hawk, right? It's the size a little bit bigger than a robin. Uh, and it gets its name from its exposed shins there. The Cooper's hawk also has that, so it's not to be confused. But yeah, these shins are skinnier than the Cooper's hawk. And the way I Remember these hawks is their rounded head. It's got this gray hood that goes from its back up its neck and over to its crown. Uh, you can see in this photo here how it continues all the way up to the, uh, the top. It's wearing a hood. The Cooper's hawk is detached. It's got a black cap. The sharp shinned is attached. It's wearing that hoodie. It's in my Instagram video, I call it a bug-eyed weirdo because it kind of has a, a, a surprised look on its face. It's, it doesn't look like a menacing hawk that a Cooper's hawk have. And here it is as the adult version. It's got that, that gray back. Here is a juvenile. It's, it's brown. And the chest there is splotchy. Um, streak, blotchy streaks on a juvenile. And with... With the Sharpies and the Coopers, the juveniles start with a yellow eye, and as it gets older, the eyes darken into red. Uh, so here are the adult tails, uh, sorry, the adult hawks, and then the chest are reddish and streaked. But the other thing to, to differentiate with the Coopers is the tail. The tail on a Sharpie is uh, squared off. It's a blunt, sharp, uh, sorry, it's a blunt, squared off tail, whereas a Cooper's is rounded. So if it's blunt, it's a sharp shin. Kind of opposite of sharp, blunt, but there you go. Um, it's small, small, 
Robin size. Now a little larger is the Cooper's Hawk. So same long tail, but notice it's rounded here, rounded like a bullet. And it's, it looks like a hawk. Look at this. You see that face? It looks like a menacing hawk. Uh, here's the adults with that detached cap there. You see that? So that gray doesn't go all the way up its neck onto its head. It stops there. So it's a, it's a square headed, it's got a gray cap or a dark cap. And here it's, it's streaks on its chest are more finely and, um, finely streaked. It's not splotchy. It's a beautiful chest there. And it looks like a hawk. It's got a neck. It actually has a neck where a Sharpie is kind of hunched, hunched over. And that neck extends when it's flying, it extends past its wings. Whereas a Sharpie's kind of turtling and its neck is kind of hunched in the wings. So there's the Coopers. It's, it's six inches bigger than a than a sharpie so but it also has those exposed shins but the um, they're thicker thicker there and then the last is the american gothock so it here's a juvenile uh, in its brown and then as it gets it to an adult here now it's kind of modeled with gray on the back but its distinguishing field mark is this white line it's white eyebrow here you can see it as a juvenile or as an adult there. It's pretty obvious. And it's much thicker chested. Uh, they call it barrel chested. So here's the three hawks side by side by side. Sharpie there, the smallest, then the Cooper, and then the goshawk. When they're flying, I mean, it's a powerful beast of a bird, this goshawk. It's that, you, and you notice that barrel chest there with the long tail. It's a goshawk. And thank you, Bryce, for this illustration. It's gorgeous. So those are the accipiters, three of those in North America. All right, now going to the Buteos. Most common there is the red tail hawk. So we're going to start with that. Uh, it's most common across North America. I call these the Hollywood hawks. They're always sitting on the side of the highway. And they're the ones you see when you're driving down the road. 99% uh, of the time, if you see a hawk on the side of the road, it's a red tail. Um, and its distinguishing marks is that belly, right? It's got that uh, distinguished belly band that they call it here. Uh, or I call it, uh, you know, like Hulk Hogan's wrestling championship belt around its waist. And it's got that red, bright red tail on the adults. And you can see that looking up, even though the, the red's on the other side, you can see it shining through when you're looking up. Now, now the one thing that the red tail hawk has that nobody else has is this, see that dark edge, the leading edge of the wings is dark. So this right there is diagnostic of a red tail hawk. So even when the, the juvenile doesn't have the red tail, it'll still have this, um, this dark edging here at the front. All right, so you can see that on all these versions. Uh, it also has that outline of its wings on the on the trailing edge also is dark there. There's a line there. Um, if you don't get a good look at the front of the wings, you can see that there at the end. But most of the time, you can see it because it's sitting in a tree and you see its belly band. It's a red-tailed hawk. Uh, next is the red-shouldered hawk. Now it doesn't look like a red tail at all. It just has red in its name. So people get these confused. Red shouldered. Uh, here's why it gets its name is at the top of its wings. There is a red shoulder. It's hard to see though, because normally you're looking from the bottom and you see the hawk uh, from this angle and you don't see those red shoulders. Uh, but what you do see is kind of the, the red armpits here uh, on the adult. And it, you really see it when it's perched. And sitting here, you can see these red bands here uh, going up and down, kind of like a Cooper's hawk would have, but it's 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 larger. So look for the red under the wings, and look for these windows. You're like, what? A window? That's right. You see flashes here under its wing. It's almost like you can see through the wings of the bird. So these uh, crescent-shaped 
windows, they call them, uh, is diagnostic of a red-shouldered hawk. So you see kind of glitter in the, in, in the hawk's wings because the sun is shining through. That's a red-shouldered hawk. Even if you can't see any color, all you see is the outline. You'll see these, these comma or these crescent windows shining through. Uh, that's fun to, to, to identify a bird. And everyone's like, how did you identify that? Well, you didn't see it. It's way up high. Well, you can see those windows and you know it's a red-shouldered hawk. All right, so another common hawk across North America is the broad-winged hawk. Now, these guys love the forest. Um, they are secretive hawks to me, at least. When I, when I come across them, they are, they're deep in the forest. They're, they're sitting there on a tree in an exposed branch, and they're staring right at you. Uh, I love coming across a broad-winged hawk. Um, it's smaller. It's more compact. Uh, what you're looking for there is this single white stripe. See that in its tail? That single white stripe there. And then the black line on the trailing edge of its wings. Kind of like a red-tailed hawk has, but that black stripe there and the white stripe. All right. They are also pretty clean underneath their wings. So it's pretty clean white under here on their wings. Broad winged hawk. Uh, next is a Swainson hawk. Yeah, the Swainson's hawk. Yeah, so found out west, uh, more so than in the east, and kind of kind of a loner bird, seen uh, solitary. Um, and you can identify them by their, their brown hood. You see it's wearing this hood there. It looks like it's got a brown hoodie on. Uh, and it's it's a little slenderer than a red tail hawk, and it's got long wings there. And you can see it's got two types of morphs. There's a, a dark morph here, and when you compare it to the white morph over here. Yeah, so the, the white is way more common. So if I identify it here with that brown hood, and in the dark you can't see the hood because it's all brown. You know, on the farmland, on the prairie, um, a beautio that's by itself uh, perched there with that brown hood. It's a Swainson's hawk. Beautiful bird. Uh, Ruffy. The Ruffy. Uh, we call them here in Ontario the rough legged hawk. It's a mottled bird. You know, no two Ruffies look alike. Uh, they got these dark patches. Uh, it looks like it's thrown together. You know, so, someone threw paint at the canvas. Uh, however, it's hit. That's the way a rough legged hawk looks. It's it's also a it's a it's a winter bird, right? It's a um, it's a migrant, highly migratory bird. They're also like the snowies, chasing the winter mice down south. And because they're used to the snow in the Arctic, uh, they got um, they got fur or feathers all the way down their legs. So that's kind of how they get their name, rough legged. And look for these dark patches under their belly. Uh, look for them in the same habitat as a short-eared owl. They're hunting over farmland. Uh, they're perched in the trees near the farmland. Yeah, look for them just sitting on a fence post uh, near a farmer's field or in a tree overlooking the farm. Uh, they're not. They're not far away from open spaces. Yeah, rough-legged hawk. Ferruginous hawk, the last hawk we're going to talk about. It's the biggest of the Buteos in North America. And uh, like the other hawks, it comes in two morphs, a, a light and a dark. But they're mostly white. So 9 out of 10 are going to be this white morph. And uh, 1 out of 10 will be this dark morph. But what what you see on a Ferruginous is this long gape. So it's kind of their mouth, the edge of their mouth there. Look how long that is. And you can see it both in the dark and the light morph. It's huge. Uh, and a long bill, long gape. And then look for the, the clean white belly. All right. um, the red tail hawk will have a, a belly band where this is, is clean white. Um, under the wings, it's kind of like the red shouldered hawk where it's got that um, kind of the red on the un under wings. Uh, but it's much bigger, much bigger. So, ferruginous, what it means, 
like how does it get its name what does this even mean this is a word that people used 200 years ago not now as ferruginous is is rust colored or um reddish brown and so that's just that color uh you see that on the top of the wings and underneath ferruginous um who knows maybe you can use it now in a sentence <laughs> ferruginous thanks for watching you know consistently my number one question from you guys is is this a cooper sock or a sharp shin hawk no matter how many times i watch the video you watch the video and you're gonna have a doubt please send me the video don't be shy say rick is this a cooper's or a sharp shin and 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 tell me why you're guessing it's one or the other if it's in your backyard and it's big, it's usually a Cooper's hawk. If it's the size of a robin, so it's really small, it's a sharp shin hawk. I'm dropping new videos every Friday. We're gonna go through all the birds of North America. In addition, I'm also gonna show you my birding travels around the world. It's gonna be a fun channel. Thanks for watching.